Welcome to Epigenetic Reprogramming Volume 3. In Volume 2, we had discussed two important nutraceuticals which play key roles in activating our cellular fountain of youth. In this session, we will also emphasize two other nutraceuticals which are very important to maintain a healthy aging. The first of those is liposomal quercetin. As you know, quercetin is a phytochemical which is pretty high in broccoli, grapes and onions. But in order to understand the true value of quercetin in preventing premature aging, we have to understand the concept of zombie cells. Now, senescence is a stage of the cell where it's neither dead nor alive. If these cells are not removed, they may lead to a premature aging of these tissues. But how does this work? Once our cells or the tissues are exposed to damage, we see that certain cells die. Usually, our body removes these dead cells and replaces them with healthy cells. But sometimes this mechanism doesn't work. So these cells remain within the tissue in a neither dead nor alive status and are a very major cause of a premature aging of our tissues. There are now certain drugs which can effectively remove such zombie cells. These drugs are called senolytic agents. There are substances which can remove these senolytic cells. Again, when the normal tissue is exposed to a damage, we witness senescent cells within the tissue. If we apply a senolytic agent, per se, like quercetin, we see that these zombie cells are effectively removed from the tissue and replaced with living cells, leading to a regeneration of our tissues. This mechanism is also playing a key role in preventing premature aging. The quercetin can be truly considered as a zombie slayer because senescence can lead to a premature aging in tissues and organs, and senolytic agents target particularly such cells. Quercetin is now known as a senolytic agent, and thanks to liposomal technology, we can overcome the bioavailability problem of quercetin. But moreover, appropriate liposomes, which are stable and have got the correct size, can provide quercetin effectively into the cells. In the last years, we witnessed several studies with liposomal quercetin on senolysis. And in animal trials, we witness that a young mouth, which has been exposed to a damage, has remaining senescent cells. We witness a premature aging. Once we applied quercetin to this mouth, we saw that the senescent cells declined, which led to a delayed aging, reduced age-related diseases, and to an extended health and life span. Another important molecule in preventing premature aging is glutathione. As you know, glutathione is truly the master of all antioxidants. But to understand its value, we have to remember what is oxidative stress. We usually think of oxidative stress as an external factor like smoking, air pollution, ionizing radiation, or extensive UV light. But we have to remember that Metabolism also is an internal factor which generates oxidative stress. Glutathione is the mother of all antioxidants, and our body synthesizes glutathione 
in order to scope this excess oxidative stress. But as we would remember, like NMN, glutathione starts to decline rapidly with age. And again, when we are over the age of 60, the levels are almost the half of the levels that we had in younger ages. So this decline, unfortunately, is leaving us defenseless against oxidative stress. But supplementing glutathione could be sometimes pretty difficult because glutathione is not gastro-resistant. It means when we supply this on an oral route, it is degraded by our digestive enzymes. In order to provide high levels bioavailable glutathione, and even more importantly, to deliver it actively into the cell, we can use liposomal encapsulation. And liposomal encapsulation looks like the most appropriate solution for oral glutathione supplementation. This was proven by a paper published by Sinha and colleagues when they had evaluated the bioavailability and the cellular uptake of liposomal glutathione. We witnessed that the levels in, in blood increased remarkably. But moreover, the intracellular levels of glutathione has got a bigger increase, which plays a key role in protecting these cells against oxidative stress. We saw that there is a 100% increase in defensive cells, and there is a 400% increase in natural killer cells, which are major cells in removing the dead cells out of the body. The both liposomal quercetin and liposomal glutathione again have got major roles in preventing premature aging. Thank you for listening to Epigenetic Reprogramming Volume 3 and hope to meet you in our next session again. Bye-bye.